After the workshop in Los Angeles, we will next head to Chicago. Process, we do board by cabins. So please take a look at your boarding pass, write under your seat number or right next to your seat. From Los Angeles, we will fly to Minneapolis. where we will make a connection to Chicago O'Hare International Airport. The flight from LA takes us over desert areas and then gradually into greenery. And by the time we reached Minneapolis, there were endless, wide-open fields. Personally, I was impressed by this uniquely American landscape. We headed for our destination, Anderson Japanese Gardens. Anderson Japanese Gardens is located in Rockford, a city next to Chicago. It takes about one hour from the airport to the destination. This is a guest house located in the Anderson Japanese Gardens, and this is where we stayed. It was truly a beautiful space, and the garden and its space made us feel as if we were in Japan. Anderson Japanese Gardens is a very large garden with several different styles of Japanese gardens. There are various other gardens as well. The garden was started by John Anderson, a Rockford businessman. Mr. Anderson has long been deeply interested in Japanese culture and aesthetics. With this in mind, he began cultivating the land, which was once a swamp, in 1978. The designer of the garden is Hoichi Kurisu.
Mr. Anderson was deeply impressed with the Portland Japanese garden in Oregon and asked Hoichi Karisu, a designer there, to design this garden. In 1998, John and Linda Anderson donated the gardens as a supported organization to the Rockford Rotary Charitable Association. Even today, this garden is a beautiful space that brings healing and beauty to many visitors. A bamboo fence workshop was held at the garden Really welcome everyone here to Anderson Gardens. Uh, we're excited to have people from all over the Midwest and all over the world, actually. And um, they're um, bamboo craftsmen of uh, very high renown in Kyoto. And um, he is. The Kyoto, Nihon, no Kyoto demo, Kokesha, Sukuna, not the day. So, no time, he, and Kokesha, I could send the Koga de Terrans. After a short lecture from Mr. Mishima, we began building the fence. This time, we will be making bamboo fences called tepo fences. A tepo is an ancient type of gun, and it came to be called a tepo fence because of its resemblance to the shape of a gun propped up. Mr. Mishima told the participants how high to make the bamboo fence. The direction of the bamboo when setting it up how to cut the bamboo, how to tie the rope, and many other things. So, we are so grateful for the opportunity to have this bamboo workshop. Uh, so thankful for the Japan Foundation and for the collaboration with the North American Japanese Garden Association. Many people who work in Japanese gardens may not have the chance to work directly with uh, a craftsman. And so having uh, uh, Mishima Sensei here is a chance to see um, a true craftsman at work. And so whether you're coming from central Illinois or Michigan or Wisconsin, uh, it's a rare opportunity for us, for all of us, to see uh, a true craftsman at work. And so this uh, collaboration with Japan Foundation and North American Japanese Garden Association has been a great way for people to experience bamboo craftsmanship right here in this garden. I hope you're able to visit uh, our garden here in Rockford, Illinois, Anderson Japanese Gardens, and see the work that uh, Mishima Sensei has contributed to uh, and enjoy this entire landscape and architecture that we have here in Rockford, Illinois. I later received a photo of the completed bamboo fence.
After arriving at JFK International Airport in New York City, we headed to our destination, the Hammond Museum and Japanese Stroll Garden. The Hammond Museum is located in North Salem, a town north of New York City, surrounded by forests and rich in nature. The Hammond Museum and Japanese Stroll Garden was founded by Natalie Hammond in 1958. Natalie Hammond was interested in art from a young age, and as an artist, she even created sets and costumes for Broadway. She had traveled to Japan in 1921 as a youngie with her father, and really appreciated Japanese gardens and the peace that they gave her and other people. She designed the garden herself, drawing inspiration from the Japanese pond garden. She enjoyed creating a pond and building a mountain as a borrowed landscape of the pond. I was impressed by the fact that a Japanese garden has existed for 65 years in this peaceful town, a short distance from New York City. Also, when I looked at this lantern, I could see that it was made in Japan. This is because of the obvious attention to detail and quality that can be seen. There are so many Japanese-style lanterns made in foreign countries other than Japan, but it can be assumed that these lanterns were made by Japanese craftsmen. I found it very interesting that this lantern is still standing in North Salem, a town far away from the island country of Japan. We will be restoring this bamboo fence, called Kaninjigaki, located by the entrance to this garden during the workshop. We dismantled this bamboo fence section and left the pillars as they were. Therefore, we cleaned the pillars once. The bamboo material for this project was sent from Kyoto, Japan. Green bamboo cannot be sent to the U.S. from Japan, so we will use white bamboo this time, which has had its oil removed. Visitors from Japanese gardens and landscape 
professionals from the surrounding area. Okay, thank you. ここまで動画をご覧いただきましてありがとうございました、えー、次回の動画でアメリカの、えー、ツアーも最終章となりますこちらも楽しみにお待ちください、えー、最後になりますが今回の動画私の活動気に入っていただけましたらぜひともご支援のほどよろしくお願いいたしますそれではまた次回の動画でお会いしましょうさようなら